Okay, thank you everyone. Here is a, uh, my presentation to uh, introduce how to uh, fight against the censorship uh, using Japan packages. And it's alternative way to uh, other than work. Um, first, uh, self introduction. Uh, I'm an arm holder, basically, and uh, uh, for the uh, Debian installer uh, to a few uh, arm based uh, NAS devices. Uh, so, uh, maybe you already uh, hear the talk that Vagrant gave, uh, gave the other day that uh, when, when doing full porting. Uh, usually uh, it's related to some patches to the kernel and uh, some patches to the Debian installer itself. And I, uh, uh, in order to um, make life easier, so I uh, port the GNU screen to the Debian installer. Uh, because it, it only has the uh, serial console or SSH connection during the install, so make it will make life easier. I, I already gave the talk on uh, last day con. And second, uh, I'm a package maintainer. Uh, that maintain a few uh, packages like Shadow, Sox, and EV, and it's the dependencies, some libraries. Today I'm, talk, uh, I'm going to talk about um, the package I maintain. And here, I, I want to say uh, I'm not a security expert, so maybe there is some uh, flaw in the protocol or in the code. Uh, so uh, just uh, uh, shout out, and uh, uh, I and the, the upstream maintainer can uh, help. Okay, uh, I want to say the problem to solve. Um, the censorship, right? The censorship has uh, a few uh, a few steps. Um, some some is light, very light censorship. Like uh, you, you are going uh, you go go into the uh, cafe or restaurant, just connect to the Wi-Fi, and you find uh, your internet is hijacked. The, uh, you are going to visit uh, Google, but actually it's not uh, Google. Uh, the data is through the other website, and and then uh, pass to Google. Google. Uh, so this is uh, one kind. Of. The other kind of is the uh, when you travel to some certain countries, like, like uh, some countries in the middle or far east. Some sites are blocked there, just like Google, Gmail, Wikipedia, Facebook, Twitter, the uh, social network. Basically, doesn't work there. Okay, here's the real problem. Why we cannot use uh, those sites? And uh, why uh, like the uh, uh, internet is hijacked in the cafe. So the real problem is the DNS quality. Uh, you get the DNS, is, uh, the result is not correct. The result is tempted by uh, the, uh, maybe the uh, DNS server at the cafe or rest restaurant. And the, the second is the, uh, the IP address uh, of certain sites are blocked in some countries. And previously we, we know the problem and how to resolve it. Maybe you think uh, we can use Tor. We just you can use Tor. But, uh, 
Here is the second school tour. Tour is great because it can uh, protect you the privacy. It's not anonymous. And um, there is no uh, requirement to reduce the account. And it's free of charge, which is great. But there are some problems on the tour. It's slow, right? I confirmed with the tour members uh, here uh, in DevCon. Um, and the tour member told me, actually, tour is not that slow. It just has some latency, uh, latency problem. Um, but for video, streaming uh, 1080 HD should be OK. I tried, yes. Uh, in Canada, it's OK. But uh, maybe in some countries, uh, like uh, heavily used uh, uh, packet loss QoS, uh, the environment uh, is not so good. So the uh, video streaming um, may be the problem. And uh, some tour IP address are blocked in uh, some part, part of this planet. For, for this case, uh, Tor uh, invented the bridge, but the end user need to collect the bridge, IP address of bridge themselves. I think uh, it's not uh, that possible for the real user. Let's talk about this scenario that uh, Tor works well and not. Uh, for some, uh, Just like a text-based uh, application like Wikipedia uh, or messaging and email and the uh, search engine uh, Tor works quite good. Uh, but for uh, like Wikipedia editing or the video case, it's not so good. So I'm uh, going to uh, talk about the alternative ways to Tor. So if you buy a VP, uh, VPS account, um, which is very cheap currently, uh, about a fan, a five or ten dollars each month. So when you have the VPS account, now you can set up the SSH terminal. I think uh, maybe uh, you have already tried that. Um, can I know how many? You already tried the SSH channel? Oh, <laughs> nearly half of you um, already tried. So <coughs> this is very convenient, but uh, this work works only for the laptop or PC, not for the uh, mobile device like mobile phone or uh, like I iPad. So we have the second choice, it's OpenVPN. OpenVPN uh, has some problem, mm, like there's fingerprint in the uh, uh, e negotiation uh, stage. Uh, because uh, the client and the server need, need to handshake. Uh, when handshake, uh, they need to uh, disclose uh, some um, information in plain text, not, not encrypt, uh, like which cipher they use, uh, uh, which their uh, IP address. Uh, so uh, it's not so uh, ideal way. Sorry. So and the last one is the shadow socks I'm going to talk. Uh, Shadow Socks is basically the uh, Socks 5 uh, proxy. Uh, tra traditional uh, Socks 5 proxy is very simple, um, but uh, here we can se separate, we can split the server and the client. So uh, you can install the server on the VPS and on the client, uh, on your PC. Uh, it connects to the server. Uh, 
using its own protocol. Uh, and uh, uh, it's encrypted data. And uh, you browse internet through the browser, right? So you set up the uh, Fox 5 proxy in the browser. Because the cipher is predefined uh, on the both server and the cloud, it's predefined in the configuration file. It's no need to handle it. So uh, there's no problem, uh, as I said previously, uh, about the OpenVPN. OpenVPN has problem when handle uh, So uh, sh Shadow Sox just uh, uh, avoid that problem by not handshake at all. And uh, uh, originally, uh, the Shadow Sox uh, implementation was in uh, was in Python, and now uh, it has a libev port, so it's written in C language. Uh, so it's uh, currently is uh, most widely used and used in PC and uh, uh, even in the uh, Wi-Fi router, uh, the OpenWRT and the Android. <coughs> and uh, about one year ago, uh, someone for uh, the implementation to a Go language. So it now it even runs on the uh, Windows. Support OS, Linux, of course, uh, OpenWRT, yes, and uh, Android. Uh, uh, for the iOS, uh, it, there are exceptions because there is some uh, application supported, uh, but it's not open source. Uh, so uh, if you want to volunteer your time, you can uh, implement uh, open source the client. And there, there uh, I heard a story about the Shadow Socks because uh, uh, it's so effective to bypassing, bypassing the network restric uh, restriction uh, and the user base increases quickly. Uh, so mm, mm, some governments don't like it uh, and uh, the a agent uh, want to kill the uh, project by uh, con uh, contacting to the uh, author of the uh, so uh, the the code author uh, by telling uh, please shut down the code in the GitHub. So uh, you can still see a message of code removed due to regulation on the GitHub page. You can check it the uh, project there. And now the original uh, Python-based uh, implementation and uh, 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 the EV uh, port uh, written in C it already en enters the uh, Debian archive. So uh, I'm not afraid of uh, lo losing the software now. And so the Debian is uh, not a platform to include the Tor and the Shadow Sox to uh, fight with censorship but also an infrastructure to protect the software itself. I think. So th thank you very much, Gibby. Uh, there are some advanced, ad advanced use uh, uh, about the uh, shadow socks, like, uh, uh, like gate the script uh, run on the gateway, like uh, open WRT and uh, some uh, extension to work better on the uh, packet loss uh, prone uh, environment network. Uh, I'm going to skip this because we, we are running out, out of time. And the project is still growing and uh, um, we welcome new contributors uh, such as the uh, I already mentioned the open source the iOS client and uh, 
uh, I think um, maybe you can help on their uh, source code audit uh, by uh, any uh, flaws in the protocol or any secret hole in code. As I know, like, uh, true, true crypt already passed the uh, code audit. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks for a lot for this talk. Uh, I, what's the distribution model for the SOX uh, proxies addresses? Is it like something that's spread in private forums, stuff like that, and people share a single proxy? Or is it something where users are expected to set up their own proxy in a VPS, they return themselves? Okay, uh, this is a software. Uh, so you need to buy a uh, own VPS and install that software on that VPS. Okay, so presumably the target user base is rather tech savvy, correct? Uh, because um, if we run that service, the IP address is easy get blocked. So I, I think it's a merit. Uh, not not a disadvantage. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you. So, any further questions? If not, well, uh, uh, please thank uh, Roger Shimizu for his talk. Okay, thank you very much.